Hello folks, John Goldstein here. Gonna take a few minutes of your time and gonna get you up to speed on the background process it took to bring this teardrop into what you're gonna see next week. Over here we have a vintage teardrop trailer. Customer brought it in. We're actually gonna cut off the hitch, redo the whole frame. We're gonna paint it red, green, and a teal in a Bauhaus design. In the back, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna put two struts. This is all gonna get ripped out. We're gonna build a tent that's gonna go around the outside with two little windows. In here, we're gonna have oak trimmed and different color inserts. You're gonna have a two burner cooktop with a built-in cover. Over here, you're gonna have a sink and a faucet. Over here, you're gonna have a built-in 12 volt 110 refrigerator different cabinetry, you're gonna actually have a heater and the fresh water tank's gonna go underneath in the front and the bed. New lighting, again this whole outside's gonna get painted in three different colors in the Bauhaus style. This is gonna come out, we're gonna panel the inside. This whole front overhead's gonna have to get rebuilt. It's gonna have two cabinets, one on each side and the center is gonna have a TV storage area. Up in the front, after we rebuild all of this framing, we're gonna take this, put it underneath, put a box right here for storage, upgrade the battery, put on a seven-way plug from Leisure Cords that will charge the batteries while they're driving down the road. And here we are on our teardrop build. So, First thing we had to do is we had to start with a good chassis because when it came in, you could see this is crooked. So it's not gonna tow very well, it's gonna lean to one side. There's the axle and the leaf spring. And over here we have a much stronger, a much better built chassis, new hangers. We're going to install the spare tire under here. We are going to flip the axle so a customer can get some more ground clearance because on the old box you could tell where the axle had bottomed out. So we're gonna make it a little higher to give it more room to travel. So right here we're putting the box on that's gonna give her storage in the front and we're trying to test fit everything to make sure that when we mount this, when we mount the battery box, we still have room for the propane and everything where it needs to be. It's got a new A-frame installed right here, giving her safer towing than what she had before. Nice and even and it's straight and much better steel for a much stronger chassis. Just behind me, you can see the teardrop that was on top of that chassis. Over here is that dent I was talking about where the axle bottomed out, which is why we're gonna flip the axles. Fenders have been removed, door's been removed. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna seal that metal, so that way when we adhere the primer, it'll stick to that. Still doing the color samples to make sure that we got the customer's colors exactly what she wants. Lights have been removed, inside's empty, rear hatch is off, and all this cabinetry is gonna go, and we're gonna build something new. So this is where she is right now. Stay tuned for when she's done. Last time you guys saw this teardrop, we were rolling around in our paint shop getting it all primered. And over here it was out in the front and we were building a whole new chassis. So now where we are, chassis done, body's primered, sitting back on the chassis. Here's the front compartment, battery box, built-in propane, a new A-frame, actually a whole new chassis. We've went underneath, built a little spot to hold the tire instead of having it up front. We flipped the axles to give it a little bit more clearance when she's going down the road because it did bottom out the last time how it was set up before. We've installed the roof vent. We have final mock-up of the design and the concept that's gonna go on the inside with the three cabinets and a little storage. On the inside, we're going to laminate some Formica in a couple different colors. One on this side, one on this side, and then the roof is gonna be paneled in a cream color. Over here, we actually have the mock-up of what the inside's gonna look at with the three cabinets and a shelf. All right, so directly behind me, we have a Dometic two burner cooktop with a built-in sink. This is the mock-up of the three cabinets and the drawers. It's still in the final stages, gonna get tweaked a little bit. Small refrigerator, propane heater. So this customer wanted to be able to have a bike rack on the back, so we made a tube that you can take this off when you're not needing it, you're not gonna smack your leg when you're cooking, and then when you're ready to put your bikes back on, bam, you're in business. So that's where we are right now on this Bauhaus Design Teardrop Trailer. When we're done, it's gonna be reds, yellows, and blues. Stay tuned to see how it looks when we're all done. 
like, follow, and subscribe to see more videos and more projects to come. Don't forget to hit that bell button and get notified of all of our new videos and stay tuned for next week when we show this project to the customer and get her final approval.